Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John, and this is Foundation. Now we've got ourselves a, a bit of a good news, bad news situation. Uh, good news is the 1.9.4 update has just been released, as you can see over here. Um, and it's introduced a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, new production chains, new resources, uh, new buildings. Uh, they've changed the way promotions work. They've changed um, the progression tree. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of changes. The bad news is that it's kind of ruined our previous save game and we were doing quite well on that one. So we... <laughs> We're going to start a new series, as you've already probably guessed by the title of the video, really. Um, we're going to go with another uh, custom map. They, they, they still have got the sort of original uh, maps in here, but we are going to go with a, a custom one. Uh, we've got Coastal, Fluvial, or Hills. Uh, and obviously we've got the Sliders. I think we'll go for Coastal. Um, let's see if we can find a good one. Mm. That's not too bad. Oh, no, no. Maybe. Um, yeah, let's go with that one. That will do. It's got a couple of islands there. Uh, there's not a lot of land space. Uh, and it's quite hilly towards the back. Let's actually... Turn down the hilliness a little bit. That will give us some flat areas to, to farm and, and start out on. Um, maybe turn the ocean down a little bit. And give ourselves a lake. Yeah, that's not too bad. I quite like that. We've got these two sort of flat patches here. A lake up on the hills and then a couple of islands. Yeah, I like that. Right. Let's go. I uh, don't want any mods. Okay, so after a long journey throughout the realm, your people finally reach new lands. Your lands. Territories you are asked to settle for reasons of your own. Your villagers await your command. They are eager to advise your first steps if you require so. Yeah. No, we don't need advice, do we? Oh, but it's added it anyway. Okay, fair enough. I think we had this last time, didn't we? Okay, what have we got? We've got some deposits up here. Some more there. Let's see how far we can zoom out. Well, there's the lake. Okay. Uh, and this land's actually a bit slopey, but there's definitely stuff we can do there. There's definitely farmland we can we can plonk in there, isn't there? Um, does start us a long way away from the uh, the beach, though. Um, okay, so we've got two chunks of deposit here. We've got uh, another one on the island all the way over there. We could start on the island. Ooh. Oh, no, we'd only get a tiny bit of the island. No. Oh, there's more deposits there and there. And a couple down here. Okay, okay. Right. Well, let's start... That's a nice big territory. That's not bad. Um, yeah. No, I'm going to go here. I like this territory here. So... Let's put our village centre in. Where should we put that? Let's put that up this way. Um, because I'll want to... Uh, obviously, uh, hopefully, build mines around here. And we can put our industrial stuff around sort of this edge and um, move down this way with our housing. Okay, so let's start ourselves off. Okay, we've got everything available. Good, good. Um, lumber camp. We'll start with you. I'll we'll pop you over there. Probably should start with a builder's hut, shouldn't I? Um, and we'll pop that right up by the village centre there. There we go. And put in three builders. Right. Uh, we'll want a gatherer's hut. Right in there. Um, stonemasons can wait a little while, I think. I'm not the stonemason, the, the, the stone cutter can wait a little while, I think. We will need a carpenter. Actually, no, we'll need a stone cutter fairly soon anyway. Um. I 
Probably should have gone with the advice, but never mind. We'll, we'll, we'll start with this. Um, let's spin on until they are built. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, there's the lumber camp already. Right, let's chuck in three for the moment and we will give ourselves all of this to, to clear out. Might as well cover up the, the berries there whilst we're at it. Okay, that will do for that. Uh, let's get rid of all of these little... Yeah, okay, right. There's the gathering hut. Good, good. Now, we are going to want a granary. Uh, and this can go right up by the builder's hut, I think. Then what? Housing. Um, we need the stones first. Okay, so... I'm going to put the stone cutter a little farther away from the actual deposit there. should be able to reach it. That should be fine, but... Because uh, I want to save this area for housing, and I don't want the, the disruption... Mark those. We've got a couple of newcomers already. Uh, come in. Pleased to meet you. Uh, we have a free territory to, for, uh, to redeem, but we'll leave it for the moment. Um, let's prioritise the stonecutters camp. Right, and I'll spin on until those are done. Okay, there's our stonecutter in. Uh, we'll put two miners in there. Uh, the granary should kick in when we get the stone in but I also want to now set up housing so we'll put a well all the way over here uh, and once we see where the pathing goes we'll put in um, or mark out where the housing is going to go and put in a market as well okay what is next next is going to be a sawmill, I think. Uh, where's the sawmill? There's the sawmill. And we'll pop you in like that. Yeah. Okay, so we've got some work to do. I will spin on, I think. Uh, let's have a look at the land. What are we doing? This is going to be perfect for farmland, isn't it? This big, oops, this big flat space here. Uh, we're going to want farmland and we're going to want industry around here. Um, so we'll probably want to, probably want to put in a forester and have this section or, or move this way with the uh, reforestation and, and cutting um, industry. Uh, and then we'll have housing stretching down towards the cliff here. This would be a nice place for uh, a church or a monastery up here. Um, hmm. Just thinking about where our Lord Manor is going to go. To be honest, the Lord Manor down here on the cliff would be quite good doesn't really overlook anything. I mean, ideally, yeah, having the Lord... Oh, the military camp over here. Ooh. Yeah, the military camp on one of the islands. I like that. Yeah. Okay. So military camp over here. Monastery maybe up here. And then the Lord Manor down on the cliff here. Probably a good idea. Okay, right, how are we doing? Uh, we are waiting for two more stones. Well, it looks like everybody's having a break, so... Okay. Right, I'll spin on. Good work there. Right. So there is our granary done. We can now store berries. Good, good, good. Right, we have no one coming in because we have no housing. Uh, no one is happy. So... We still want our well to be completed. We still want 
the sawmill to com be completed. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Our money is stable because we're not spending any at the moment. We have no free villagers. We have... Food coming in. And wood coming in. Okay, we need planks. We will then need, I think, to have a look at the progression tree. Because um, we'll need to unlock the warehouse. We can already unlock fishing and butchering. This is one of the new bits. Um, so we don't just use boar uh, as it is. We can butcher it for meat. So one boar becomes five meat. Which is much more efficient. Uh, and obviously fish. Uh, they Both of those were further down in the... Uh, list before um, we get these uh, splendor packages for each of the um, kingdoms uh, each of the estates rather uh, which are specific bits of decoration for them um, what have we got new here uh, the tavern is unlocked much more early and much more early much earlier uh, and we can produce um, I think we can do it automatically as soon as we get the yeah as soon as we get the tavern we can produce a berry brew, which uses basically berries and water to make juice that they can sell in the bar. Um, and that provides entertainment, which is a, a, a new thing that people want as soon as you start promoting them. Uh, in addition with promotions, we'll, we'll have a look at that, obviously, when we get the uh, Lord Manor built and we can actually start thinking about promotions. Um, but now you can do it at any time. There's no cooldown period. Um, so you can promote at any point. Um, and it's it's much simpler now. You can actually promote unemployed people. So you can just promote your unemployed people and then put them straight into the buildings that require um, higher ranking villagers. And there are mo uh, more buildings that require higher ranking villagers. So it's much more worthwhile promoting villagers now. So you have to think about um, increasing your supplies to include luxuries and things like that and you have to have entertainment so the balancing is is going well i think uh, we'll see how it plays out obviously but um yeah it certainly from from i've played a maybe an hour or so um with the new update and it certainly seems to be better balanced in terms of progression put it that way uh, certainly feels better um, money is still obviously a problem, but we'll, we'll get to that when we get to it and we will get to it. But in the meantime, we've got one more stone for our sawmill, but we have no people yet. Um, that's okay. Cause we're just waiting for five stone for the, uh, well, I'll tell you what, let's paint in, um, a bit of residential just to get them oh they're already building look so we'll spread it up around there we'll keep it as free of the trees and the negative space uh, negative impact as possible right okay all i can do now is spin on we don't have anyone uh coming in um as soon as they get housing, their happiness might increase. And as soon as they get water, it might increase. Uh, the next thing I'll build will be... Um, right, that's the path. So it will be a market. Uh, and we'll just plonk it in there for now. Uh, and all we want is a simple food stall. Okay. Okay. That should be done fairly quickly, and I'll take someone out of, um, hmm. I'll take someone out of the woodcutter. We got, we're, we're full. We can't build the warehouse yet, so yeah. I'll take someone out of the woodcutters to put in, uh, to there. That should boost their happiness. The well should boost their happiness, and having houses should boost their happiness. Then we should start getting some more, uh, immigrants showing up. I'll spin on. Okay, our well is being constructed, as you can see. Houses have been constructed, our sawmill has been constructed, and... 
We have a newcomer. Hello, newcomer. Welcome. Um, where are we going to put you? Let's put you... Hmm. Let's put you in the stone cutter. Because we're quite slow on, on getting stones in. Right. Okay, we are now producing planks at least. So, if we go into our... Um, uh, progression thing and unlock the warehouse there we go good start oops no I don't want that one I want that one warehouse let's put this also um, does that look good that looks fine yeah let's pop that in there that's gonna take a while because we need both stone and uh, planks for that but our well is well approaching completion. There we go. Are you going to finish it? Yes, you are. Good on you. Well done. <laughs> well done. Okay. Um, we have our market in place, so we are providing berries to our um, our villagers. Um, you've got plenty of space. Uh, you've got some space. Okay, that's fine. Right then, we'll spin on until we've got the warehouse unlocked, and then we'll look at our next territory, which I think is going to be down here. Um, yeah, it's probably going to be this territory here. Uh, and I think I'll put... Hmm, I think I'll put the Lord Manor up here. Uh, and then we'll spread the residential down, sort of towards it and around it. Uh, and we'll keep this as forest. Uh, and we'll unlock... Uh, hunting uh, and we'll put a hunter's hut in there once we start getting some more people coming in basically so uh, houses look like they're almost all done there's a couple more going in there that's okay right yes I will spin on our warehouse is built and we have a newcomer just arriving so hello have a job Already set it up to store planks, tools, wood, and stone. Uh, so we need to... Let's have a look. We need 20 uh, planks to unlock uh, our first trade route. Um, and they will buy planks and berries from us. So let's set that up immediately. We'll sell all over 100 of both, I think. Uh, but obviously that won't kick in until, A, we have that much in stock, uh, and B, um, we can actually unlock that trade route. But in the meantime, let's redeem our free territory, and we're going to redeem this one over here. Uh, and we've discovered some more mineral deposits. Probably those ones, I don't know. Unless there's any more hiding around here. Nope. Probably those ones then. Right. Now. Uh, let's come off of that. So, we need to build our Lord Manor. So, we'll put it... Yeah, just at the base of this hill here somewhere. Um, and we want to start with a Great Hall. Um, and let's try and make this... Actually great this time, rather than worrying about... Um, saving resources. Actually, can we zoom in, please? Thank you. Um, come on, let me... There we go. How does that look? That looks ridiculous. Um, let's pop you over there for now. Um, a wooden hall. Can we stick a wooden hall on? Like that, and then... Have that... Kind of coming out of the bottom of it, like that? It looks... Better? Yes. Yeah, we're going to go for that. We're going to go for that. And let's have... Uh, it's very difficult to see with these trees in the way. I think we're going to want another uh, log uh, lumberjack over here. 
There we go. What else have we got? We've, a door. A door would be useful. Door can go straight on the front. We need an interactive location. So we'll put it right in front there. Um, and we have a chimney. So we'll, we'll stick... Um, yeah, we'll stick a chimney on the back there. That's pretty good. Um, it's going to require a fair few resources. Not, not too many. Shouldn't take us too long to, to put that together. So, there we go. We'll have that set up to build. And, as I say, it's going to take a little while, but we should be okay. Now. Hmm, in fact... I'm going to pause that for the moment. Just until we've got 20 planks in stock. Um, in fact... Let's stockpile planks for the moment. Uh, and then I'll open up that trade route. Uh, and then I'll come back once some of this building work has been done. Okay, well, it's still giving me advice. Um, your village has caught the attention of the three estates of the realm and they expect you to build monuments to their splendour. Such constructions will undoubtedly define the future of your people. And they wonder which of the kingdom, clergy or labourers you will oblige first. Uh, I mean, we are building a manor house, but we will, we'll want to sort of focus on the three. I think we'll, we'll skip this one as well. Um, let's slow things down. Uh, as you can see, we are trading. Um, mostly buying tools <clears throat> at the moment. Uh, we are still uh, selling plenty of berries, which is nice. So that's keeping us... Um, in the black pretty well at the moment. Uh, I've put in a forester's hut down here, a forester camp rather down here, uh, just waiting for um, the next, there we go, the next immigrants to arrive. Uh, our happiness is up at 60%, which is good. Uh, we only have one type of food, which is why they're sort of slightly unhappy about it. Um, but we don't have access to fish at the moment. Uh, there's some just there. Um, oh, there's more over here. Yeah, plenty over here. So, let's have a look. Yeah, that, that would be a territory to buy for when we want fish, which will be quite soon. Uh, but we'll want hunting before that. Um, how many people are turning up? Looks like there's a couple there. Okay, let's... Uh, I need to unlock it. Let's go to progression. Butchering. There we go. Unlock that. Uh, that gives us the Hunter's Hut, which is what we want. We'll pop that. Um, hmm. Uh, let's pop that down there. And we'll mark out. Hmm. Let's have a look. Yeah, all of this as a hunting zone. That'll be a good start, at least. Okay, so that will be put in. Um, let's welcome our new visitors. We'll put one of them in the forester camp straight away. Uh, I've already set up the reforestation over here. Um... Let's move that there, and let's come off there so we don't see all the... Oh, that, that is a new thing they've added. You can see all the resources that that particular building can um, harvest. So you can see all of the all of the boar available in all of the uh, forests around there. If I click on the uh, gatherer site, you can see where there are all, all the berries dotted around the map, which is quite useful. That certainly helps decide which way you want to go if you're looking for particular resources. Um... Uh, yeah, it does work for stone. I was just checking to see if it worked for stone as well, but it does. That's nice. Okay, right. Uh, we have one person available. Where will we put them? Oh, mm. Let's prioritise that. We will... Uh, so you can store meat and boar up here as well. You're going to need more transporters. Um... Let's give you a a free villager. Yeah, that's that's more important at the moment. We can we can wait for the next one once that's built. 
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right, let's stop looking at that. The boar is, is making my eyes hurt. Um, this is slowly coming together. Um, but not that slowly at all, actually. I mean, we're only in uh, month three. That, that's going quite well. Um, all I can do, really, is spin on and watch our money hopefully maintain a reasonable uh, total. But it's going to start slipping away fairly quickly. But I'll spin on. Our hunter's hut is in with its rather macabre display of skulls. So that's good. That will start producing boar for us, uh, as you can see up here. We don't have any at the moment because it's only just been built. Uh, it does have a worker. Um, uh, they've only just been assigned, obviously. So we're waiting for them to turn up. Oops. So the next stage is going to be building the butchery. Uh, and we'll pop this up here. Yes, up here. That's out of range of the... Uh, the housing, so... Um, yeah, that's pretty good there, isn't it? Right in that corner. Go on, pop that in there. What does that need? Tools, planks, and stone. Um, tools we're okay for because we are buying them in and the berries are just about keeping us um, in a positive. Planks is an issue. We don't have a lot of those. So let's prioritise this over the, the Great Hall, I think. Get this going first. Uh, we still have one free surf, so we'll put them in the warehouse. Uh, I've put a couple more in the granary. So all I can do is spin on again, I think. Um, as you see, the, the main part of the Great Hall is, is pretty much done. We're waiting for the tower and the, the side bits to go on and the, the doorway. Um, but yeah, we're just, just waiting for planks, really. Um, what have we got? Two more days. We should get a couple of... Couple of village, uh, couple of new villagers in in the next couple of days. Okay. I'm going to stick a lumber camp there. It's only going to be temporary. Uh, and we will prioritise that as well. Uh, and we will mark all of this as an extraction zone for it. Clear out this whole area and get some, uh, get some lumber in. Okay. Yes, we will do that. Clear out this area. That will be good. I'll spin on. We haven't even got a front door yet, and we've got a messenger at it. So, what do you want, stout messenger? I mean, I mean, stout as in loyal and trustworthy. I'm not calling you. Anyway, um, thanks to your increasing trades, a large number of folks are now looking to settle in Northbury. Yet the village struggles to feed the extra workforce and asks us if you could send them much needed bread. Um, yeah, not really an option at the moment, I'm afraid, messenger. Off you go. Uh, yes, we are progressing with the, um, uh, what is this? This is the Great Hall. It's right there. It's right there, John. Look, Great Hall. Yes, the manor. We are, we are progressing with that pretty well. Um, we have completed, if we spin over You've got all this space. Why have you built inside somebody else's house? That's just rude. Anyway, uh, we have completed our butchery. That is right there. And it's quite a nice little building. I, I quite like the uh, the design of it. Sort of stands out a little bit from the uh, the other buildings, but not in a way that's kind of out of place, if you know what I mean. I like it. It's really nice. I... I, I I've said it before and I'll say it again. I really like the design of this game in general. It, I was trying to think what it reminded me of. And this building in particular, the, the way that this building is put together, it reminds me of a a model for a, for a d and uh, tabletop game. It's that kind of 
not quite cartoony, not quite realistic style. The sort of slightly oversized bits and pieces on it, you know, the, it, it just, yeah, it reminds me of that. Don't know why. Food diversity. Your villagers are very grateful for the food you provided, yet, uh, provided them, yet they wish their larder had more to offer. They would greatly appreciate it if you were to give them a second source of food. Yes, well, I'm, I'm literally just about to do that. We've just got two people in, so let's put two people in the butchers. That's more than enough. They'll they'll go through that stock of boar very quickly. Um, our villagers have needs. Yes, I know. Um, yep, working on it. Okay, right. Uh, so in that case, let's come across to our uh, market uh, and let's add in another uh, food stall. There we go. Simple as that. Uh, he says. Do we have the resources for it? We well, kind of. Um, still waiting for those planks. Uh, we do have the lumber mill. Oh, uh, lumber mill. Lumber camp over here. Um, so this is going to be clearing out this area and providing us with a bit more uh, wood, which is which is excellent stuff because we need it. Uh, as you can see, our money has now dipped below four hundred. Um, Partly because we're using quite a few tools. Because we're doing quite a bit of building. Okay, right. What I'm going to do is I will spin on one more time. I want to get... Oh, thank you, autosave. Uh, I do want to get this finished. It doesn't look like it's far off. What are we looking at? Uh, another 15 um, planks. Yeah, that shouldn't be too long, man. That should be okay. Uh, we'll hopefully have a, a few more uh, villagers turn up before then. So yeah, I'll spin on until the uh, manor house is complete. Right, our great hall is finally finished. Um, we can select mandates. We don't need to at the moment. Uh, we've just had a villager arrive, so we can put them in the market stalls court. Uh, which should complete this quest. In theory. Hopefully, that'll take a little while. I thought it was going to be an instant thing, but obviously not. Um, but uh, we'll close that down. You can see we could, we've already gone through the, the stock of boar that we had. That That's just, yeah, gone. Um, so we're going to need another hunter's hut, at least one other hunter's hut. Uh, we have another courier arriving. Hello. Uh, mandates are special time-specific actions that have various effects. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, that's a new mandate that they've... Uh, put in. Uh, discuss a levy with the villagers. So you can basically ask them for extra money if you if you get very skin, which is nice. Uh, hello, courier. That is a very fancy hat you're wearing. What do you want? The kingdom recognise your efforts in establishing your kingdom. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. He's given us some money. Uh, what, we got another courier? Where? Oh, hello, we had two couriers. That is also a very fine hat. An isolated community of fishermen looking for a kind-hearted builder. They need help constructing a bridge, which would connect their village to the rest of the realm. They have not much to offer, but they promise to share good words about your generosity amongst the labourers. 90% uh, chance of having a clear blueprint. Uh, or spend money. Let's give them the builder. Influence earned. Help the small community build a bridge. They promised good words in return. Thank you very much. Right, we should probably have a look at what we can afford then. Um, bailiff. Let's get the bailiff. Um, stonemason and... I'm torn between clothing and farming. Hmm. We've already got two types of food. So let's go for clothing first. Oh, we can get both. No. No, we'll just go for that for the moment. Yes. That's what we'll do. Um, can we do any labour stuff? Um, Splendour, Hedge, and Splendour Package. Let's 
get both of those. Let's spend all of our money. Um, mandating the bailiff. Let's have a bailiff. Now. How do I do this? I need to build a bailiff office. Okay, so... Edit building. Select a function. Bailiff office. Right, let us... Hmm. How fancy is it going to be? Not too fancy. We'll, we'll use one of these buildings, but we'll keep it at that height. Um, we will give it one of those, and we'll give it a door. Um, and we'll give it some barrels at the front. Why not? And a shed. Because I like sheds. Right, build that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what have we got? Edicts and privileges. Uh, we know this. Uh, another courier. Yeah, we'll, we'll ratify an edict. Another courier. What What would you like? Are you wearing a fancy hat? You have no hat. You have no horse. You're a hard-working courier. If you're on foot, what do you want? The elders, the much-respected leading men and women among the region's labourers, heard of your village and wished to make themselves useful to your people. They bought welcoming gifts, tools, to ease your villagers' lot and pledge their assistance hereafter. Ah, your support is much appreciated. Excellent. We've got ten more tools. That will certainly help. Right. Uh, click to assign bailiff. Can we assign? We've got no eligible villagers because we have no unemployed villagers to promote to... Oops. Uh, to promote to... Uh, commoner, I think the next level is. Uh, commoners or better, yeah. Okay, so we have lots of people coming in. Are you are you visiting the village? Are you are you elders? Emolute, you're an elder. Well, hello, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Right, we will leave it there for this episode. Um, not bad for a first episode. We've got our manor house in. Uh, we've got two so uh, sorts of food in. Um, we've set up our basic um, resource collection and manufacturing pretty well. Um, the next thing to look at would be a church, I think. Um, but we are going to need to probably buy some more land. Uh, and actually, probably coming this way and setting up clothing would be good. Because, if I remember correctly... Yes, middle requires um, clothing to unlock the trade route. Uh, oh, and there is another trade route available. Uh, Kinston Abbey. What do they buy? Herbs, honey, hops, berries, uh, wax, planks, meat and wine. I mean, they're partying. That Abbey knows how to party. Okay, but yes, we will leave it there for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're not too uh, upset about the other series ending abruptly um i was a little bit annoyed but oh, oh hello we're popular all of a sudden um but i think it's worth it having having played through a little bit both on this um map and and a, a test map as i said earlier i do think that the balancing they've done actually greatly improves the game in lots of little ways that you know, lots of little sort of quality of life ways uh, and things that improve. I mean, making better use of the boar and making it available early on. Yeah, brilliant. Um, and we're at this stage, we've got the manor house built and we still have 300 coins because we're able to produce more, we're able to trade more. Yeah, it's just that the balancing seems much better early on, definitely. So big thumbs up from me for that right uh before we end we do want to assign a bailiff so let's promote a villager who are we going to promote we can't promote anyone we need entertainment goods and comfort okay we're going to need to build a church i think yeah Hmm, okay. That changes things. Or... 
Oh, I don't know. We'll think about it next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do join us next time. Please give us any comments down below. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, and please join us next time. Oh, please give us a like and a subscribe. That's what I should have said. Probably should have said that at the start as well, but I never do. Please give us a like and a subscribe if you've enjoyed it and you want to see more. Uh, join us next time. Until then, I've been John. This has been Foundation. Please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe and bye-bye.